Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Israel. The game is World of Warcraft Dragonflight. And when we last left our competent murder hobo, vaguely competent murder, all right, average murder hobo, he was parked outside the main hut of the centaur and they were discussing plans. So the idea is that we're going to meet up with Kana Matasaras outside the Horn of Dorsal to stop the Nokud from destroying it and thereby preventing us from calling for aid from the dragons. You know, it would be a lot simpler if I just went over and spoke to the dragons, but apparently we have to do this the old way. The traditional way. The best way. Go figure. Now, there is a shortcut. They will say you can take Tyvan, who's down here outside the Nokud offensive. I almost did. Then I looked over here. Because over here, there is another doggo of some interest by the name of Ludo, and he may have wandered off. But you will find him bouncing around this part of town with the innkeeper and the trade skills. If you manage to catch up to Ludo, not necessarily the easiest job in the world, but it can be done, he will drop Ludo's stash. All you have to do is use him. Or rather, Ludo's stash map. That, when used, marks the location of a treasure within the Onaran Plains. Pop the map and, oh look, it's right on the way to the quest marker. Hmm, handy. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the grand heroes of Azeroth. We're off to steal a dog's private toys. <sighs> Do you ever feel like a hero in this game? We crunch. There we go. Go one quick skim down. And we have a slightly chewed duck egg. On the bright side, we have actually done a good thing here since we have likely saved the duck from a. Uh, well, I'd say a fate worse than death, but since that's almost certainly going to turn into a combat pet in three days. We have, in fact, rescued it into a life of enforced slavery, being made to fight in gladiator games for our own amusement. Ladies and gentlemen, the hero of Azeroth. Someone needs to reflect on just how horrifying the Pokemon series actually is. Anyhow, with that aside, let's get on some good old honest war. Because it's so much easier to have all the death and violence when it's sentient within the context of the uh, story, characters engaging it. Oh, there's the Horn of Dressal. Yeah, how did I miss that first time around? Right, details, details, details. Hey, everybody. Howdy, how's the ambush preparing? Howdy, howdy, howdy. The giant red dragon flying in totally didn't ruin things. Mm. Well met. Oh, okay, we're too late. Whoops. Probably shouldn't have spent most of last night running around doing trade skills. I know it wouldn't have made a difference. Take some so, the retake the horn before Balakar, Balakar can destroy it, rescue any Tirai who lived. And, oh, Matra is coming along with us with her stabby stick. And we get some improved shoulder pads. Right, I let's do this. I am entering the village with the outsider. Lucky me. Stay and defend this position as we advance. This is nowhere near the full force of Clan Nokun. She's not stupid. And up to the face. A lot of load to kill for a finisher, but let's keep it moving. Ooh. Shinies. Shinies. Hmm, why are the shinies then? Oh, hello, buzzards. Yes, 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 yes. You're all very happy to see us, I'm sure. Finally sold off. Thank you. Right. Where's that mining node? Yes, Kanam, I know that this is not a massive priority for you right now. It is for me, and I'm the one bringing the muscle to this gig. Sort of. Besides, it's a rich Cerevi deposit. I like these. Mining skill, yay! Right, back onto the murder. And it literally is just a straight-up murder fest. 5% first, so five, 20 kills. And maybe a few other bits and pieces along the way, because this allows them to have things like 
side objectives and, you know, general mayhem. Ah, save a survivor. That's why they did this percentage and not just a kill count. Yoink. Well, those are actually good for 10%. Hey, turns out it actually is better to be a lover than a fighter. Sort of. We clonk. There we go. Of course, sometimes you've got to be a fighter as well, and let's be honest, the fighty pays an XP, so uh, it evens out. Right, let's go get those buzzards off their back. Yes, I know technic Oh no, they are actually buzzards. Huh. Go figure. I wonder if a regular heal will work here. Mm, no, it's on the full health. So, no, you do actually need to do the use option there. A couple of them were showing damage earlier. Oh, well, details, details. Hello, primalists. We're here to hurt you. Everyone dead yet? Nope, we're getting that. What is the difference between a buzzard and a vulture anyway? All I really have it as a mental note is large carrion eating bird. Presumably climate. But uh We have saved who we can. We must get through Balakar's Come lieutenant, Kaed, to reach Khan the Matra, The primalists have made me strong! I'll be with you just as soon as this ore's not burning a hole in my backpack. Minor detail. You know how it is. Seven, six, five, four, three. I will kill for a pair of asbestos... Well, to be honest... Asbestos lime in the backpack would help. Right. Where is she? Uh, right up there. Surprise gang. Oh. And... Oh. Okay. That's cheating. Mind you, there's... There's Warmonger Carrad. So, in fact, we will actually have to go through because we've got Onara over there. Luckily, there only seems to be one tether holding her. Right, let's do this. No, you don't. You will take your chill pills and you will light them. You don't get to do that either. Right, drop a hog and start spamming holy power. Crunched. Wait, what is that up ahead? It's Onara. It is Onara. Yep. Now all we have to do is figure out how to unpick the last of that spell. All right, I think this is a trap. Come back in one piece. Yeah, he's gonna blow the horn. Oh boy. Good news! The dragons are coming! Almost there. Bad news! No! Anti air. Mother! Yoink! Ooh, that looks like it hurt. And of course. The winds carry us onward. The Emerald Gardens will fall! And of course, the Green Dragons might now think the Centaur have turned on them. We need to go talk to the Green Flight. Like, yesterday. I mean, okay, we murdered their ambassador at a parley. Well, someone murdered their ambassador at a parley, and then the horn got blown and the Green Dragons got summoned, and then the, they flew right into an ambush. Yeah, diplomacy with the green flight's not going to be good for the next few days, is it? Greetings. 
Right, we must help the green flight. Meet with Kanamatra at the watering hole. Yes, yes, yes. Was that the Hornager saw? Yep. It was loud enough to wake the dead. That was the idea. Yes, Coralette forced Onara to bless Balakar. He blew the horn to lure the dragons into a trap. Tomo, return to Marakai and inform the Khans. Rally our forces and begin the march towards the Emerald Gardens. I'll be back in a second. I just want to. What is. This looks interesting. Crunch. Okay, so we've got a shovel. Okay, we haven't got a shovel. Draconium and so we. There's no way this can be a trap. Absolutely not. How could it possibly be a? Oh, I know why that shovel's there. It's in case the rock wall respawns while you're in here, and you need to dig yourself out. It's not a trap, and ah, uh, Otok, squeak. Yes, squeak, squeak. How do I get to answer? Fly straight into a brick wall. Thankfully, my dragon has a very, very thick skull. Okay, to the green dragons, wherever they went down. Does anyone know anything about draconic medicine? My principal knowledge of it is from killing them stone dead, but it's probably best not to mention that around Marithra. Okay, sh sharp dive. Angry proto dragons and dropped. We cannot lose any more. And he's dead. Hey, Gerthus. Hey, Marithra. I have we met. <sighs> also, there are ravenous green proto details. Okay, let's explain ourselves. Marithra, we mean you no harm. The death of your brethren saddens our hearts as much I? as the death of our own kind. I'm vouching for her. Balakar did this. Balakar and his clan, the Nokud. They have shown their weakness and their cowardice by working with the primalists. We hope to resolve our civil war. But now I see there is only one path forward. We must vanquish them. Three clans stand with you, daughter of the dream. Okay. Sirai, Shikar, Onir. We must join you to repel the warmongers from our land. I accept your offer to Oh good, she's being reasonable about it. Alright. Sacrifice will not be forgotten. We fight together. That could have gone so much worse. Your presence is a favorable omen. Right. May your ancestors guide you well. So, on to talk to Maritha. What would you know, so We've me? held off until now. They bought a dragon killer ballista. Yeah, we saw it. Taste the throne of shady sanctuary and okay. Is it time to go already? Mm, no. Hey Gathus. Welcome. Let's go. Sweet dream are apparently not made of this. Right, let's go hitch a lift. Shortly after we returned to our ancient grove to the west, the Primalists attacked. Okay. We destroyed them time and again. The Primalists knew they needed the Centaur on their side to defeat us. And they got one tribe. Clan Nokud's dragon killer ballista is the key to their victory. So take out the artillery, the job done. Are relentless. With their help, Coralef's primalist army has found a way to break our defenses. Sounds like a job for a murder hobo. The ancient bow must not fall. Within it lies our portal to the Emerald Dream. I shudder to think what they wish to do to it. Uh, the usual corruption, destruction, nightmares. Old, mind you, the old gods were used to subjugate Razdegeth and Co. Oh, so, lies hmm. ahead. meet me there. We will rally the remainder of our forces. 
Maybe it's just an unlimited rice pudding situation. Who knows? Either way, welcome to the Shady Sanctuary. It's a sanctuary and it's shady. In the shaded sense, not the uh, dubious moral principle sense. It's important to note the differences here. Okay, Mirithra. Hello, champion. Hey, again. May your dreams be peaceful. So, Winds of the Arts and Luxury Now Detect and Utilize Gale Winds. Okay. Sweet. And, ooh, a new Drake for riding. Hey! This blessing, my people will know that you speak with my voice. Now go, quickly. Preferably before we get knee deep in center. Okay, fly spawn beetle parts for the ducklings. Yay! And from there, off to talk to all the various dragons. If I can find them. Hello, dragons. Dragons? Drap. Yeah. Come on. There should be some dragons around here. You know, it's going to be easier just to hop over. Yank. Hopped. Lights in the garden. Right. Head up to Marithra's watch. Um. Yeah, why not? I can always use his uh, boost to get down. If I need to, an ooh, dragon riding rune. And more to the point, Veronicus. Primalists are scattered. The centaur clans have declared their support. Rally the troops! And remember, stay away from the ballistae. Artillery back. Right, boost. And boost. Spiral through, and we got it. Right, track down again. Splutch. Okay, we have a... Citra the Mender, you are needed at the front. Right, so that's the medics rallied. Can I get that beetle? Yes. Sorry about this, we need the bits to feed... Ducklings. I'm sure that makes sense to somebody somehow. Ooh, blacksmithing and engineering supplies. Do they have a tinker's bench here? Fortune Anvil. Why is John here? Lucia makes Seleif. Ah! John makes bangles and uh, dragons no eat John. Sounds like a reasonable deal. What have you got? Smudge lenses. Yoink. Blog loot. Huh. I wonder if... Engineering. Because if I quickly make some cerevite bolts... So we've got a load of silver cerevite bolts. Can I push? That's 316. Those are 337. Yeah. Problem is I've used the upgrade marker. Right. I'd have to reforge it in order to... With another upgrade boost in order to make an improvement on those 337s. Yeah. Crafting. Yay. I mean, I like the extra detail. But it... Something you kind of have to learn, like any system, really. Bonk. Right. Okay. Keep talking to everyone, including Sario, so who actually I do need to talk to rather than just, uh... Boop, there we go. Done. Messages are away, and... Last but not least... Another beetle. 
and then down over this cliff we should find our last target. have the beetle parts as well so we can go feed the ducklings right guard captain um good news bad news for the glory of the dragons they're on the move more blood shed it is then you're welcome and while we're here boost plow into a tree glide over try to make the cliff edge before i stall out Hey, Gracchus, we got you your bits. There we go. And the good parts. Fire quackers and pilot. Others call me duck herder. The boo should all be by the creek. Feed for ducklings. Be wary of pilot. She's always jumping off something. Wonder how she got the name. Yeah, let's go feed the ducks. The, you know, desperate war for the survival of the green flight's home in the Dragon Isles can wait. Yoink. Hello, ducklings. Ah, bits. Bits, come on, hold still. There we go. And there's Jet. Right, okay, we've got Moonshine. Oh. Right, where's number four gone? Where's Pilot? Did say she was always jumping off things. Um, Pilot? Has anyone seen... Oh, she didn't. Ah, there she... Of course. <laughs> I can fly! It helps if you flap your wings. But there we go. Pilot has been found. Right. Hop up and swing over to Gracchus. The ducks are herded. Pilot, come. Aww. But I am the hero of ducks. Yes, Firequackers has... Yes, we must indeed save the duckling. <sighs> Search for Firequackers. Where did he go? No, get back out of the way. Swing down. Hello, Hornswog. Have you you haven't seen a duckling round here, have you? Make the queasy Hornswog throw up. Uh oh, is there a quacking noise coming from? <sighs> Fine. I only see one way to do this. Violence, as applied in veterinary medicine. Come on. Come on. Gib, duckling. Gib. 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 Come on. Come on. Throw it up. There we go. Do we have a queasy... We have a queasy horn swog. Do we have a... Well, it didn't throw up pilots, so... Um... Guess we're going to have to try something else. Gracchus. There you are. Ah, disable the drake for a moment. Good news, we uh, we found the queasy hornswog, but um, pilot was not in. Sorry, firequackers was not in the. Yes, okay, maybe he was. 
All that you die, thank you, take care, my sweet duckling. Ah, oh, we get Pilot as a pet. I promise not to use her in any involuntary gladiator battles. Honest. Right. What would you ask Meanwhile, back on actual, you know, topic. The Dragonflight is ready. Yo, I suppose, yeah, Isara is dead, isn't she? So, um, big Rest quest. Well. And we have Winds of the Isles. Okay, so we are heading to the Swarm Scar. Massive energy forces going to the north. Okay, go collect reports. Works for me. Yep, yep, it is. Okay, to the Winds of the Isles. Is there a... No, no, it's fine. Let's get some altitude. Or at least swing up over the Emerald Gardens. It's much the same thing, really. Up to no good. Ugh. Wait, no, I need the Prime List front. I'm going the wrong way! Again! Also, new... Uh, new Dragon Riding mount. Let's give it a go. Mounts... Windborne Velocidrake. Ah. Yeah, it's, uh... That's proto Drakey. Okay. Away we go. Bit more streamlined. Bit more compact than the proto Drake we had. Right. Same basic principles, so though. It's all cosmetic, really. Going down... At perhaps some speed. And... Right. No, those are the scouts. Okay, fine. Slam in for a landing. Hey, Bellica. And Aru. Welcome. A report? <laughs> Our report is that the rear flank is secure. You stand amidst the carnage that secured our victory. Okay, that's not actually a scouting report, but I'll take it and good luck. Good work on the carnage and good luck on the rest of it. Yoink. Hey, Boku, what do we got? Oh, did you want to talk to me? The barrier surrounding the HVAC. Yes, yes, I do. And, hmm. Yes, Primates probably do want it quite badly. See those stone pillars? They are part of a barrier that keeps anyone from approaching. We must protect them, or the island's defences will fall. They brought a trebuchet, haven't they? Either that or someone's planning to ram a very large dragon into one of those pillars. Still, at least we know what's at stake now. Okay. That, that sounds like a fight. Deshteng, what have we got? Sounds like a breeze. The Nokud's abilities, but also join their ranks. Look at the size of those stormbound colossi. This does not bode well for us. Well, lucky us. The portal must lead to where the primeless reinforcements await. I wonder if slaying those summoners would disrupt it. Perhaps it would collapse. Or perhaps it would explode, or perhaps it would expand and Return toss us all into the realm of chaos. Thud. Well, so much for the eagle. Return to the winds of our own. blessed child of our world. Okay, Marithra, how bad is it? Do you see? Those pylons empower Coralette's destructive power. If we cannot stop her, she will destroy the pillar. And the ward that protects the ancient bow will fall. Huh, she's not actually a dragon herself. Interesting, I thought she was a visage dragon. She's actually just a fairly senior primalist. Just a fairly senior primalist. Okay. The Into the battle. What would you ask of me? Alright, kill three warmongers, kill and wreck three ballistae. 
Rest well. Works for me. Let's get down there. Alright. Death, destruction, mayhem, etc. You, you know the gig by now. Oh, hi. Nice of you to turn up. Yoinks. Yes, I have eaten. This may be over killing it somewhat. But let's at least try to get some of these uh, little ones out the way. Then focus down the big one. And yes, I did actually have to pop lay on hands there. Embarrassing. But my gear's basically down to green quality now, so not perhaps not a huge surprise to say. I need to start being more respectful. I also need to start being more careful with my combat rotation. Almost blew a wake of ashes without thinking about it. You. Yoink. Hammer to the face. Right, on to the next ballista. And you know. Slaughter as many of the enemies I can lay my hands on because bonus objective. Always for the best. Do, 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 do. Smashy, smashy, smashy. Yes, technically that was an inefficient use of Wake of Ashes because it only got two holy power rather than three. <sighs> Need to tighten up on that. Right. Lead with the verdict. Start dropping the spenders. Target down. Move on to the... Ah, another warmonger. Excellent. Crunch. Right. Lead on to the final ballista. Hopefully the final warmonger as well. Do, 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 do. Hi, guys. You know, you could have trashed this without waiting for me. Alright, the anti-air is clear. And I can have some fun with an elemental while I'm at it. Now we discover just how much I've bitten on. Oh, it died. Alright, etc. Right, warmonger. You! Die. Thank you. Loot up. Quest clear. Shiny armor. Anti-air is down. Oh, it was an upgrade as well. Let's get that in immediately. Right, you must deconstruct additional pylons. Okay, so mark the primus pylons, call in dragon artillery, and close the portal. Right. Simple enough, we'll just go airborne if we can. Yeah, they didn't think to stop any anti-air. Hey guys. We Well done. I see the pylon. Thank you. Seventy-eight percent done on the bonus objective. Just uh Hop over again. Now this is why you have proper anti-air defences. There it is. And there it was. And there it isn't. Ah. Ow. Okay. This time we got spotted. Bye. Meet for the grinder. You, however, go first. <laughs> Murder, death, kill, murder, death, kill. No, you don't. I saw that blue swirly last time. I will not get stunned by it again. You, however, need to hammer in the back and then get down by the Ashbringer. Another one added to the list. Right, third pylon is over here. 
vertical hop, glide it in, pull in the artillery, get away and clear out before there's any more trouble. Next job, kill that portal by flying right into the middle of a cave full of angry primalists. Hi guys! And now they're having a very bad day. And yes, the pool shut down and it didn't explode. That's always good. Greetings. Right, so the storm Honor is starved. And the dragons have done their job. Right, within reach. Through to Coralef. I would like to, yes. Ah, I need to find a way out. Happily, there's a trail of corpses all the way over here. Yay! Somebody opened the door. Right. Summon dragon. Fly over fight. Coralath. Oh, hi. Yeah, alright. Oh, don't be impatient. I've got enough violence for everybody. Mac, Crunch, Wallop, etc. Right. Coralath, get down here. Yes, 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 yes. Power, lightning, storm, earth and fire, etc, etc. Would you die for... Oh, never mind, it's invulnerable. Yes, 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 yes. Well, here's a surprise for you. I'm still standing. And shortly you will not be. Except I'm out of storm options. Right, let's get rid of that channel before any more lightning bolts come down. In the face. I have failed. The dream must be ours. My purpose here <sighs> is fulfilled. Let us meet again soon. Works for me. Works for me. So, yes, she came seeking dream. She found only despair, death. Delirium and destiny will show up at some point, I'm sure. I mean, technically, desire's already involved because, hey, she wanted the dream, didn't she? Find anything right, let's go and mop up. Or at least deal with the consequences. On, the primalists have been dealt with. Yay. Our forces will make quick work of any foolish enough to linger. Right up to the moment they get more anti-air. Allies, we could not have achieved this victory. Marithra is summoning their leaders to an audience. Woo! She asked for you as well, my friend. Well, I should hope so. I did most of the heavy lifting, didn't I? This day. You have proven yourself to the Green Dragonflight. Thank you. Are you going to let us in? The deed of kindness and sacrifice my people will not soon forget. Against hatred and chaos, the greatest weapon we wield is fellowship. Aww. So come, friends. Join me under the ancient bow. Tell me of your dreams. Okay. Is it time to go already? Meet Marithra in the ancient bow, follow the path. Okay. Well. Oh, 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 dragon. God, it's amazing how quickly you forget about that, isn't it? And welcome to the ancient bow. Riding seems, uh... Touch disrespectful somehow, but it'll be quicker. Yoink. Ah, oh, there you are. And one oath stone. Woohoo! Tell me this is going to charge. May your dreams be Centuries ago, a station was composed to help future generations centaur. Okay, choose the right offering and I'll... Okay, so, um... Anyone bother to check the manual? From the hunters who value skill above all, a rite of passage, a first. Indeed. From the who commune with the wind, 
her lightest touch, a lift. From the descendants of the matriarch, a drop of unbroken progeny, an ancient line unforgotten. Hmm, her first hunt, her first born. Her first kill. You are welcome at my Okay. Time. Right. Do what can I get some hints? What would you ask of me? From the hunters who value skill of a rite of passage a first. Right, the rite of passage would be the first hunt. Yes, that makes sense. After their first hunt, a young hunter of our clan receives a ceremonial spear. Take mine. Kaching. Technically, it's not her first, but there you go. Tell me of your dreams. This spear is proof of your skill. I accept this offering. Hooray! Right. So. Right. From the sense of the matriarch, a drop of unbroken progeny. An ancient line unforgotten. Well, the ancient line would be a song, wouldn't it? I do not think it is that ah. sort of verse. We should think of something else. Or maybe not. Um, an eagle feather? As all Ohuna are the offspring of Onara, this feather should... Suffice. When in doubt, just throw answers at the wall. Something will stick. One feather. Yay! Hello, champion. Boop. Unara's spirit blesses. Oh, that was the lift. Oh. I accept your offering. And from the Kanam. Okay, what's the third line? Ah, a drop of unbroken progeny, an ancient line unforgotten. Well, I hate to say it, but blood's the obvious one. Drop of progeny. A bloodline. Yes. I have an idea. Yoink. Here, take this. Follow the wind. Do, do, do. Proof of the unbroken lineage of Clan Tirai. I remember Tirai well. You are so much like her. I accept your offering. And from the dragons. Soil. Well, what the? What do I do with this? Oh, of course, return the offering from the dragons to the centaur clans. Fertile soil. Makes I, sense. The Kanamatra Serist. Accept this gift to honor the ancient oath. Made by our most sacred ancestor. Yay! All centaur under Onara's wings will aid the green dragonflight in times of need. And I, Marithra, daughter of Isera, accept this gift to honor my oath to your ancestor Tira. Together, dragons and centaur will protect the Onaran Plains. By hiring mortals Should to do the heavy work. Again, know that the Maruk will fight beside you. The bond that united us in ages past has been renewed. Let this oath stone serve as a symbol of our covenant. I vow to protect the Emerald Dream and the Green Dragonflight with my life. Well, we have Chloe! It works! Okay, also number three ignited. That just leaves the blue and the bronze. Well, hey! Of course, I've got all these side quests to clear up as well. Yeah. Talk to Mithra. Tell me of your dream. 
and well, not quite an upgrade on the cloak, but uh, see where that goes. Oh no, roll, ugh. Right, so Kirin Tora chasing the Blue Oath Stone, and Pakina and Mahud the Wise are over at Fork River Crossing. So that's the quest line on to the next zone. Clan Shikar wants me to head over and help with the Grand Hunt. That's nice of them. And Matra. Well, there is the Nukud offensive. Just to finish them off. Nukud. Oh, 296 gear. Hmm. That might be worth going for, if only to upgrade my 265 trinket. Come back in one piece. And of course, I've got all the side quests to deal with as well. So. I think next episode is going to be a clean-up job, because whilst the main plot of the Onaran Plains is done and dusted, there's still a whole pile of loose ends I need to type, so I'll see you next time to deal with those. And after that, it looks like we're heading off to the Azure Span and hooking up with the Blue Flight. It'll be good to see Kalagos again. I hope he's over his ex-girlfriend, that was a messy breakup. <laughs>